Good morning. It's Tuesday, February 16th, 2021. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Peace in the Pandemic, Part 2. We'll get to the scripture in just a moment. Here's how the conversation went the other day with my friend, me. This pandemic thing is getting old. Him. It does get old, doesn't it? I didn't ask permission from my friend to quote us because this is what we call public domain. Nobody has a copyright on those words. If you read them today, you could just as well have written them yesterday. You've had that conversation sometime within the last year. And here's another conversation you've had, although the so-called conversation had no other participants than you and the words echoing around in your mind and soul. Me. This pandemic thing is scary. Me. I wonder if this year will be the date they put on my tombstone. Me. I don't want to think about this. And yet, think about this is what we do. Years ago, a co-worker of mine said, everyone over the age of 40 thinks about death at least once a day. But that statistical analysis wasn't opined during a pandemic, where the news channels have that death box on the screen during their broadcasts. With half a million deaths in this country so far, I'm thinking the newscast audience pool is shrinking. Who wants to watch death winning? Enter the words of Job from at least 3,500 years ago. Job was a rich man and a godly man. He was also one of the most unfortunate men in history. He had it all, wealth, health, family, community respect, and a life of integrity. And then, in a single afternoon, Job lost it all, except for his integrity and faith in God. His family died in a tragic disaster. His wealth robbed, friends suspecting he'd sinned big time, and his wife urging him to commit suicide. But Job hung on. Oh, that my words could be recorded. Oh, that they could be inscribed on a monument, carved with an iron chisel and filled with lead, engraved forever in the rock. But as for me... I know that my Redeemer lives, and he will stand upon the earth at last. And after my body has decayed, yet in my body I will see God. I will see him for myself. Yes, I will see him with my own eyes. I am overwhelmed at the thought. From our perspective, on this side of the cross, we know Job did more than hang on. He prevailed. Reading the end of Job's epic, we see that his integrity and faith in God were vindicated, and the last days of his life were more prosperous and redemptive than before. Now that's not just a heartwarming end to a tragic story. That is a textbook track for we humans to live on, especially now in a worldwide health crisis. With as much as pulls us to curse God and die, as Mrs. Job so eloquently preached to her hubby, there is every evidence and urging in Scripture to have faith in God. No matter what it looks like on the newscast screen, God is behind that screen, and He will have the last word. For you today. A dear friend sent me some encouraging words a day ago, words from an old song in his church's hymnal entitled, If You But Trust in God to Guide You. This hymn was written nearly four centuries ago during the time of the Thirty Years' War by George Newmark, a man not unlike Job who was fired, robbed, and regained all only to lose everything in a fire. I think these words fit the bill for peace in the pandemic. If you but trust in God to guide you and place your confidence in Him, you'll find Him always there beside you to give you hope and strength within. For those who trust God's changeless love, build on the rock that will not move. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.